Hey, what's up, everybody? GM. How we doing? Let's see, the electronics and Lucas in the chat arguing about who's first. GM, GM. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? You ready to build some games inside of the game maker? We got sandbox study hall tonight. So if you guys have any questions that you want covered for basics inside of the game maker, feel free to drop those in the chat. I'll try and keep track of them. Um, we're going to be starting off with, uh, I can't see it. We're going to be starting off with, uh, how to create a death timer quest that the player can earn extra time by collecting items. Uh, that was a request from Go West on my Tuesday stream. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do Tuesday and Thursday streaming for the Sandbox Basic Game Maker streams. Um, so make sure you tune in both Tuesdays and Thursdays to start learning how to build or help us learn how to build. Um, both are appreciated. Uh, we've had some awesome assistance from some of y'all in the chat during my streams. Uh, Lieutenant General was helping us figure out how to do some randomization on last stream on Tuesday. That was awesome. Um, but before we get into everything, uh, I'm going to toss it over to our awesome news anchor, Panda, to bring you guys the latest and greatest news inside of the sandbox and then we will uh, get on into everything and like I said if you guys do have any questions uh, about whatever inside the game maker outside the game maker you can ask questions about whatever we'll see if I have the answers um, we will cover that on this stream so let me know in the chat and I'm gonna start this up I think everything's set up so you'll be able to hear and let me know but i'm pretty sure you will hello and welcome to the news of the week this week in sandbox let's first take a look at the events that are happening the game maker from builders challenge so if you have created an experience and you have land to publish it on then make sure to be publishing that experience uh, so you can be in for a chance to earn some amazing rewards Make sure to go check out the Builders Challenge and it's got loads of information to know all about eligibility and all of the important information. Space Invaders in Shibuya 109 is still ongoing until the 14th of March and Love and Music Festival is also continuing up until March 28th. You need to collect 200 EP to be eligible to earn the rewards here. There are rewards for landowners, avatar owners. There are rewards for open to absolutely everyone. So do go check this one out. Some amazing experiences included here. Into the Unknown Game Jam is in full swing right now. You cannot register. Uh, registrations have closed now. Uh, but do keep your eye on the events page for more game jams happening. And we have Vox Edit Contest showing up on the events page right now. So we have the Vox Edit Easter Contest. There is a regular category and a beginner category. All of the important information and dates are here as well as brand new happening, as well as a live award ceremony to announce the results for this Vox Edit Contest. So make sure to tune in then. You can click learn more to go to the Medium article, which will give you a full rundown as well as giving you some inspirational images if you need to be inspired over what to create for this contest. Other things happening within the sandbox. We do have the Hellboy avatar collection. To go check out the Hellboy avatar collection and mint your avatar. We also have the Magnificent Century. You'll be able to mint your avatar this week with this one. Now it's time for our mentions of the week and we are going to start with for our mentions of the week we're going to start with an experience which is Casina Season 1 made by Vox Machina Studios. So the, this experience is 
absolutely amazing. Great job with this. And definitely, definitely suggest you guys go check this experience out. And the second experience I'm going to mention, and the second experience that I'm going to mention is the uh, Packer Defran experience. Go check out that experience, and it's by the Alpaca de Braz. Next up is an asset that is up on the marketplace. This is by Candy H. And it is the Gamer Girl Setup PC for 45 sand. Absolutely amazing. So cute. Love the detail here. Um, absolutely fantastic. They also have numerous animations happening here. We've got um, things happening inside of the computer. Very well done on this asset, so go check that out. Next up is another asset, uh, 69 sand. This is an equipment. It is a headpiece, and it's by AU24K. It is the Butch the British Bulldog headgear. So much love and creativity has gone into this, and... Absolutely looks fantastic. Love, love the detail, love the drool coming out of his mouth. Then by Zero Game Studios, we have this little imp for 17 sand. Absolutely adorable. Love, love this character. So cute. And then finally, we have the Wizard Game Buddy up for sale. 24 sand for this one, created by Not Animated. So cute. And Not Animated actually recently just won the Bonkus Game Jam for their Game Buddy Forge. So definitely do go check out Game Buddy Forge. You can also check out the Game Jam Award Ceremony over on YouTube. Now for our artist mentions. So our first artist mention goes to Azim. They created this amazing setup. I believe they entered this for the Warriors Vox Edit mini contest. Really wanted Vox to highlight edit. this one just because I thought they had done a really good job at coordinating their entire equipment set. It looks very nice. Well done. They've got some good shapes going on, especially with that sword. I really like the curve on the sword. They did a good job with that. So do go check out Azim. Our next artist mention goes to Polar Joy Art. I know we are already past Chinese New Year, but I really, really wanted to highlight this Chinese New Year asset that they had created. It's absolutely fantastic. The level of detail inside of this asset is just fantastic. This would have taken them so much time and effort to create this. Uh, so, so much detail in the whole of the body. Just, I was astounded. There's, there's nothing else I can say to this. It, it is fantastic. Thank you for tuning in to our news of the week. And now back to your regular scheduled content. Hello. <clears throat> I'm muted. Welcome back. Thank you, Panda. Good news as always. Let me know in the chat if there's anything y'all are extra excited about from that news segment. Lucas is poking some some pineapple pizza. <laughs> it looks like um, checking it out, making sure it's safe. Let's get into it, y'all. Uh, we are, like I said, before we got into the news, <clears throat> going to be covering how, actually, yes, covering, going to be figuring out and covering how to create a death timer quest that the player can earn extra time by collecting items. So that's what we're going to dive into first. And then from there, we will see where we go. Probably do a little work on the game that we're working on. Maybe get into some other stuff if you guys have questions. All that fun stuff. Let's go. Uh, let me find Game Maker. There it is. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna use our basics, the basics map, to figure out this. 
And this question was brought to us on Tuesday's stream by Go West. So we're going to figure out how to do this for him. Um, I don't know. He may have already figured it out, but it was a good question. So we definitely want to check it out. Um, for those of you that missed, um, for those of you that missed our stream on Tuesday, I'll show you what we set up. We figured out a way randomly generate different assets onto the map. So if we come on over here, I set up a little lever. I feel like I should have made it so that it spawned to the left of us, actually. Why don't we do that, actually? That way we can actually see it in action. So bring this. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them. I think you can hide them. This is a, a bug uh, that's going on right now. You're not able to highlight logic assets. So in order to move all these, I'm going to have to separate them, which is annoying, but we'll do it for, for the sake. Um, and then we'll move them up here. So we should be able to see it happen. And then move it back together. So what we did is set up some rules so that when this lever is hit, there will be a randomly generated asset that drops. It was pretty handy to be able to do in your games. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a lever. It could really be anything that happens uh, in the game as far as a trigger goes. But we just used the lever just for simplicity's purpose. And we're going to hit tab. Get back in here. This is what we did on Tuesday. If you come on over to... After we get all our quests. <laughs> all of our quests rolling. <clears throat> if you come on over to this lever and hit it. Boom. We get a nice looking plant. Hit it again. Oh, another plant. And the 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 rarity is uh, dragons are the most common. Plants are in the middle. And uh, flashlights are the rarest. So we set that up. And if we just keep spamming it, we could just keep getting more and more. There's a flashlight. But... That's what we figured out how to do. So um, if you want to figure out how to set up a mechanism similar to this, it doesn't have to be exactly like this, but the, the concept of um, randomly generating assets onto the map um, through some sort of interaction um, or message being sent, you can go catch the replay of Tuesday's stream uh, to figure out how we, how we did that and get that set up. Um, but... We're not going to dive too much into that today. Unless y'all have questions about it, then we can definitely um, dig deeper into it. But essentially, I'll just show you. Um, we set up some rules here that are checking checking a variable, um, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, changing the value, So, um, and then checking if the number is in a certain range. Pretty simple once you get it all set up, but... Took us a, a little tweaking and messing around before we before we got got there. But uh, shout out Lieutenant General for chiming in and helping us figure that out. Appreciate you for the support. Whiskeyverse in the chat. Whiskeyverse was the one that requested to um, have that dove into. So I'm glad uh, you were able to see that and figure out how to do that. Hopefully that helped you. Uh, do whatever you're doing in your game. All right. Let me see now. So to set, we're gonna let's think. We gotta we're gonna set up a quest that is on a timer, and when that timer runs out death happens 
your player dies. So first step is figuring out how to set that up. And then once we get that set up, then we're going to figure out how to collect items. Maybe these random items, maybe we could work that into the, into the quest. Um, but you can collect items and those will add time to your, to your, to the counter countdowner, the countdown timer. And then you'll be able to play longer before you die. So first off, let's figure out what kind of quests we want to set up for that. So we're going to add a quest. Oops. Add a quest. You're going to die. Um... Hurry before timer runs out. And we'll just do auto unlock for right now so that we can just get right into it. But uh, while we're testing it out, the quest type would be Timer, I think. <laughs> trying to think if we would do survive. We're going to stick with survive for right now. 30 seconds. Works. Quest completion. Auto completion works. After completion, it sends a message. Hmm. Trying to think how we will, if this is going to kill it, if don't finish it. Do, 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 do. Let's think, chat. If you got any suggestions or thoughts along what we could try, obviously, always welcome in the chat. This is this is honestly my favorite favorite thing about streaming these is is problem solving and trying to figure it out with all of y'all. Uh, it's it's been an interesting. I didn't I didn't know what to expect from starting to do these streams and it's been it's been a lot of fun um just trying to figure out how to do these different things together and coming up with different unique ways to do it. Um I think I think we want to uh Blue Tulip in the house. Blue Tulip. What we're trying to figure out is how to set up a quest so that there's a timer. And when that timer runs out, the player dies. And they can and then the next evolution of that is the player we're then gonna try and figure out how to allow the player to collect different items that'll add time to that timer. Maybe this isn't quest worthy. Maybe it's something else. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, we'll see Lieutenant general in the chat as well. Um, if you're planning to add time or don't think it is possible via objectives, you will need to use the rule system and tie it to a quest with messages so this is going to be another complicated request <laughs> uh, which is totally fine um i think it's it especially when we have assistance but um let's fiddle with this so
The request is very easy, actually. We plan to add time. I don't think it's possible via objectives. You would need to use the rule system and tie it to a quest with messages. So would we still do it? We would still do a timer quest. Um, but will we be able to add time, or can you do? Can you do? Um, can you do time in? I don't really know exactly everything. That's that's part of the problem and part of the reason we're doing all this is I don't really know all the different stuff that you can freaking do with rules. So that's what we're figuring out. In a general, always got the ideas. And I always love to hear them. So please feel free. Feel, feel free. Okay, so there is time rules. Add, subtract time. That's probably what we're going to end up using to do the collectible thing. Um, pause time, set time value, start timer. Stop watch. So we're going to have to start a timer and then we can add, subtract time. Okay. I think this is where we need to be. What is y'all? What is y'all saying? Start timer. Yep. <laughs> we're on, we're on the right track then. So we're going to start with this bad boy. Uh, I'm going to get on over here. So start timer, required message is going to be start timer, start timer, time variable, probably going to need to create a variable for that, right? Yep. So create a variable, name it, variable. Time. Uh, show. Sure, we'll show it so we can see it. Create. Choose that. Go last. What up? We're starting to figure this out for you. And you didn't miss much. So no worries. Um, Lieutenant General and Blue Tulip are helping us out with this one. Thanks for the assists, y'all. Um, so start timer, variable time, duration is going to be uh let's just do like 30 seconds for right now uh message to stop the rule is gonna be stop timer and then message to send we'll figure that out when we need it maybe like finish finish timer quest Something, maybe. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Start time, 30 seconds. <laughs> Reading minds. Lieutenant General. Oh, message to send is kill. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Got it. So we're going to kill... If they don't finish in time, uh, what do you got, Go Bus? Yeah, we want to go one. Want to go one forever? Is there a way to tie this to a leaderboard? See who stays alive the longest. Unfortunately, there's no way to do any kind of leaderboard right now, but. I would imagine, yes, eventually you will be able to. OK, 
Okay, so we got a start a, a, a timer started. Um, there's another rule. So go S, I don't know what you missed, but all we did um, so far is set up a start timer rule and then filled in these deets here. Now add a collectible that sends a message to another rule called add time. Okay, so we're gonna do another rule. Add time. Is there a way to change the names of these things? Yep. Add time. Just double click on the, the word there and it lets you change it. Start timer, add time, required message, um, add time. Boom. Time variable, same variable. Right? That would make sense. Value change, 10. Um, question. I think that it would make sense that this would be in seconds, but I guess we don't know that. Hopefully it's in seconds. Create a message with an argument. Another rule will be added to take time away. Sorry for... No, I mean, I might forget that, but that's a good question. Remind me if I forget. And we'll figure that out too. So... We're adding time. This... Um, I'm waiting, Lieutenant. Create a message with an argument. Variable add time to with an argument. Variable add time to. Be able to add or subtract. Okay. Start typing a name. Do we need we need a new variable? And that variable needs to be M. Next. Oh, I'm following. I think. Variable. Oops. Variable. Add. Time. Two. And two. Okay. Variable add time to. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know you could do that with arguments. Interesting. Okay, so if you click that second one, that's with arguments. And then name for the message, variable add time to. Arguments of the message. There is no argument attached to this message yet. So add a message or add an argument, you can do true, false, number, integer, or number float, and text. And do 
integer. What up, insanity? How you doing, homie? Just learning some <laughs> some uh, harder than expected, but luckily we got a lieutenant general in the chat. Um, rules inside of the sandbox right now, but I'm digging it. Number, integer, enter argument name. Argument name is going to be add time. Let's go. So then we could do another argument that would be subtract time. <laughs> I do see why you've been scratching your head. Go west. <laughs> it is it is hard, but I feel like once we like start, we're me and you from the sounds of it are both very new to the the rule system. So I I feel like as we continue to to learn the rule system, it'll get easier and easier, and you'll start to realize what you can do with it. Um, Cyber Dragon does have some great uh, videos out there already that help with all of this. Oh, so we don't need to subtract time. So we can just do negatives for the argument. Dope. All right. So create this then. And then we have a way to add and subtract time. And it's yellow because it has arguments. All right. Following so far. And then we're going to move on over. So we got start timer. Timer's going to start. Then we can add time or subtract time. Cool. Um, use the argument value, message argument, add time. Okay. 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 Sweet following starts we can send a message the value change is going to be based on the message argument I'm trying to think now or I'm trying to understand I guess what's what's going on so if I send message variable add time to say I wanted to add 10 seconds I would send I would send Five. Okay, ten. Um, okay, so now send from collectibles on pick. Well, do you want? Should we just use the use? Let's save this. Should we just use the collectibles that we that we have set up, or is that going to be extra complicated? We do have these three. Let's just let's not convolute things. We'll we'll grab another thing. Let's do what what should we be collecting? Let's collect. I don't know. This. How about that? An Aztec medallion. We are gonna collect an Aztec medallion. So let's put that. I don't know here. All right. Blue Tulip says, put some logic, send message, add time, and you will be able to add argument how much. Interesting. I think I'm going to figure this out, y'all. Okay, so this needs to be, first and foremost, a collectible.
I still scratch my head every time when I'm trying to decide if it needs to be a single player collectible or a multiplayer collectible. And I really want to get a grasp on this, but I don't know why I can't. <laughs> I mean, I understand the difference, but I want like what what I think Lieutenant Journal, you answered this last time and I still don't remember. One can communicate with rules and one can't. Is that is that um is that part of it? I think multiplayer can communicate with rules. I don't know. Anyways, we are going to collision for collecting. Let's edit the logic so we can see everything. We're going to... Uh, I forgot. Forgot what we called it. Variable. Yeah. Variable add time. Sick. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to do stuff and then you start to figure it out. Plus you have people in the chat guiding you, which is always always a bonus. But okay, so we do variable add time. And then we can decide how much time to add. So if you collect this asset, you get 10 more seconds. Beautiful. And let's just do all. I hate having that bubble up there. Um, broadcast type all. Or does it actually, it needs to be rules, probably, huh? It needs to be rules. Westy coin. Let's go. All right. So I think this is all set up and we can test it now. Let's see what happens. That's all part of the fun. I should have saved that, but whatever. Um, we got new, new time variable. That's, that's what we're going to be checking out. We got 23 seconds. Let's collect this. Now I got 20 seconds. That didn't do anything. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Here. So we got... Oh. Maybe we need to figure out how to... The message start timer. Oh, that's because we have... We have to start the timer first. You need to start the timer first. Indeed. Let's just... that bad boy there and it's going to be start timer wait so let's just turn this we don't need this quest then right can we turn it off no we can just turn all the quests off though Let's do that for right now. Okay. We load in. All right. Start the timer. You got 30 seconds. What are you going to do? I'm going to slide around for a little bit. And then get 10 more seconds. Let's go. Nicely done. Let's see what happens when the timer runs out. <laughs> Dead. Timer runs out and we die. And then we go to the nearest checkpoint. 
Can we start the timer again? Yes, we can. Cool. Okay. So we got that. And now, if you wanted, if you wanted to tie it into the quest, you could. You create a quest, and if they complete something in time, then they get victory, and if they don't, they get defeat. I think is how we could do that, right? Um, you need to start the timer, use the lever. We need we may tie this function to the quest later. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so now if we go back into here. Maybe the, I don't know what the quest would be, but um, we'll auto unlock it, auto launch it. We're not going to do timer though. We would do wait for message. And we're waiting for message of you win. <laughs> My thought on the game is how long can you go? So never a victory screen, but only a defeat screen when you run out of time. Brutal. Okay. 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 What is a defeat? Well, this will start it, so we're going to do our timer. We'll also start the quest. Wait, God damn it. We're too far or not far enough. Uh, start timer. And it'll launch. And then the quest type is going to be <laughs> trying to think what the goal of it is use the message from the lever start the quest and fail the quest when the timer runs out start timer 2 launching why would we want to use start timer 2 for launching instead of just auto launching Because you want to start the quest with the timer. Okay. But isn't that start timer? Start timer is what starts. Yeah. Start timer is what starts the timer. And it's also what starts the rule timer. Then <laughs> Lieutenant, <laughs> Lieutenant, I'm definitely listening to you more than I'm listening to myself. So don't worry. Um, but I think this is, this is correct, right? We're using start timer. I don't know why we added a two to one of those things, but that doesn't matter. Um, so we did start timer. Let me see. Gameplay rules. Start. This starts the timer. Okay, so 
this should start the quest when and when we start the timer. I think I'm confident in that. Let's just double check. Boing. Let's get all these quests out of the way. So we can see what's going on. All right. Then we're going to trigger this. Hammer started. No quest started. We do wrong. Start timer. Launch quest. Auto launch. Oh, that's why. None. Get rid of that. Try that again. Alright, gonna wait for these and the squirrels. Okay. Start timer. The timer starts. Quest does not start. God damn it. Launch quest. We need to just double up and tell it to start too. Oops. I got my hands off. Go. Start timer. Let's type. Oh, it's because it didn't go away. Or it's back to start timer. Maybe that was it. Message start timer. I'm following you. I think I was confused. Message I have time to launch quest equals start timer. Unlock equals auto unlock. Okay, so auto unlock. We had it mixed up. Would unless there's a reason that you need to not unlock a quest at the at a certain time, would it just make sense to always be on auto lock? I feel like that's probably true. Um, unless there's a reason why you don't want it to be unlocked. Launch quest, message, start timer, quest type, um, whatever. We'll start with that. This should work. Alright, so... Start timer. This should have worked. Seems like it should have worked anyways. What the fuck are we doing wrong, guys? All right, this is annoying that this pops open every time. Okay. Here's message, start timer, quest type. Trying to figure out if any of these things are messing it up. You'll need to replace all components with single player. Is that what's going on? Single player can communicate with the objectives. Objectives are not server side. Yeah. That makes sense what I just said. I think so. Um, all right, let's just look one more, one more time here. Don't think it's gonna work, but all right, this still works though. Okay. So. One auto, two requires three wait message. One auto, two. I'm just going to 
click again. One, auto. Two, message. Three, wait message. That's good. So we need to change opponents single player. So this message, because it's multiplayer, isn't being sent to the objectives. We need to go none. Then we need to go single player. God damn it. Single player message broadcaster. Start timer. Beautiful. So. I think everything else will work. Just replace it with single player and all settings will be preserved. All right. Let's see if that works then. Yoink. I wish we could just turn those quests off so they don't have to run every time. But I don't want to delete them. Timer starts, but the quest does not. Single player, message broadcaster, start timer. Objectives. Click, click, click. Auto unlock. There's message. Start timer. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Bingo. But don't we need to... Broadcast to the rules. Can you do all and it'll go to both places? Let's check. Thank you. Hammer's still running. And we got a new quest. You're going to die. And we don't know what to do to, to not die. All right, so everything else is still working, though. Good troubleshooting, gang. G, G's. Okay, so... Let's see here. We got a lever sending the start timer, which starts the rules timer, and also starts the quest. You can collect this to add 10 seconds to our timer. All right, we're making progress. Go Wes, are you following? That's most important. The one who asked the question hopefully is following. And if not, yes, he says, good. Okay, so we're, we are, I don't know, halfway there. So now, Once the once the quest starts, we got the we have figured out how to make the quest start. What up, Bert? Learning with Crafter is correct. I love learning with all y'all. All right, so prior's message start timer quest type. So what did we want to do? We wanted to make it so that. Eventually, you die, no matter what. So you're always going to end up defeated. And eventually, you want that score to get added to the leaderboard, which we can't get into yet. But...
Mm -hmm. When the timer runs out, we need to get defeat. What up, Yuma? Good to see you again, too. something magical and it stops the time birds on a five stream streak let's go point of interest is very helpful you talking through the working when listening on mobile was driving great stuff but home now noise OS says save your channel points Save your channel points. Save your channel points because you know Crafter will read every single message. Um, after collecting coin, you spawn new one on random location. That's a good idea. So we don't want this. So we don't want to, the timer to stop, but we always want to have a new medallion spawning so that they can increase their time and i mean you could make more than one medallion spawn too mm -hmm. magical beans when you die game over I like all caps. Sometimes I just want to type everything in all caps always. Thinking, 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 thinking. So if we, all right, so we got this running. So now we need to figure out how to trigger the defeat screen. Whenever the, whenever the rules, whenever the timer, defeat, that's how you do it. Oh. Simple. <laughs> All right, let's try it. You're gonna die. We got 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Let's collect this just to make sure it works. It does. 28 more seconds. And then we will find out. Don't get dead by him. 20 seconds. ERA, let's go. Always learning. That's my hobby. I'm a learner. No defeat. Huh. What'd we do wrong? Get out of here. Uh, la, 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 la. Play games, what up? Doing good, homie. How are you? Getting a little confused over here, but that's <laughs> on point. Um, that's part of the show. Get confused so we can figure things out. All right, so... Got it starting. We still don't have it stopping. That's not what I want to do. Thought I had it. Message just message to stop the rules. Stop timer. Message. Oh, that's what needs to happen. Message to stop the rule is stop timer. Uh, message to send is defeat.
So it wasn't as simple as I thought. What happens when the timer runs out? The timer runs out, so this is starting timer. Message to stop the rule. Whenever it gets to zero, we could send stop timer. Maybe. Blue tulip, I like where your head's at. I was thinking we might have to set up some sort of rule. Try to create a broadcaster that sends defeat message. I think the rule system has a bug. Oh, so it should be sending. No. I'm confused how this rule works, I guess. We're starting the timer. If you if you stop the timer with this message in, then it sends this out. Am I interpreting that correctly? Try to create a broadcaster that sends the defeat message. Oh, so just relay it through a broadcaster. So stop timer. Oh, when the timer runs out, the message is sent. Okay. So then we need a broadcaster to receive defeat, and then it's going to send defeat. Is that what you're saying? So we're going to get a broadcaster. Uh, single player broadcaster. This is just send defeat all. Wait before broadcasting. Message required defeat. You need to do that. Just do defeat again. Sure. I was kind of thinking the same thing. I feel like we should be saying not defeat here. Message defeat. Owen, I like your style. Message to send is defeat. Message to start the broadcast is message defeat. Bingo, bango, bongo. I feel like that's good. Start the timer. Start the quest. Twenty seconds left. See if we die. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, run. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Eat. Nope. Yeah. What's going on here? Is there something in here? Shouldn't be. That doesn't matter. We're not actually completing this quest. Um, that doesn't matter. Rules. Let's go back to the rules. Brules rules. Anyone watch Brules rules back in the day? Any YouTube clips? All right. Start. Actually, I don't think it was on YouTube, but that's where I watched it. I think it was on like Adult Swim or something. 
Um, so do you think this isn't happening? The message to send. Message defeat. Feels like that's not happening. I think comparison is the route we're going to try next, Blue Tulip. We try and compare. So if timer is zero. Rose Rules is from Tim and Eric. <laughs> well, were you the one that, that asked me if I knew, knew Tim and Eric? There you go. I did, or I do. Tim and Eric didn't caught my didn't catch my I still doesn't ring a bell um but I've watched some Tim and Eric stuff on YouTube apparently um airtime this might be what we need to do. We'll see. Put this here. So we, hmm. so we're going to need a message to compare time. The bet with the. Me Is this message actually going to get sent? That's my question. When the timer runs out, I feel like this should just work. Then, if 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 the timer runs out, sends the message, message defeat. That broadcaster should receive the message. Receive the message, and should send defeat. And defeat should just end the game, right? All once matter rules are correct. Logic with behavior. Wait and or we could do constant checking. Is that a thing? Constant checking. Close. Um. <laughs> I'm trusting that the rules are fine. We'll leave the compare time alone for right now. We haven't been steered wrong yet. By Lieutenant General. I believe in Lieutenant General. I also believe in you, Blue Tulip, but um let's see, let's see if this works. The rules are correct, so create a new logic with defeat behavior. It was killing the avatar before. Call. So this is being sent. Alright. Noted. So the rules. I keep reading the wrong thing. Create a new logic with defeat behavior. So not this. Isn't this new? But again. Behavior. Is there an actual defeat behavior? Multiplayer defeat. I don't see a multiplayer defeat behavior. <laughs> You're just like me. I always feel like 
and I'm never in the right spot. Why are my hands off of the B feet? Uh, it doesn't matter. Defeat condition. On receive message. Defeat message. Defeat. So these two are going to be working together, huh? Sends defeat, receives defeat, defeats. Let's try it. Start the timer. What up, Roxy? That name color is hard as hell to read. But I'm pretty sure it says Roxy. Defeated. So, so we didn't need this because <laughs> this is single. I see what you're saying. This is single player. This is multiplayer. So this, this isn't even sending to this. Complicated. We don't need this. Correct, Amundo? Sure. Let's just double check. It's got to be though, right? Because single player doesn't communicate with multiplayer. Timer on. Oops. More seconds. So many quests triggering. We'll sneak around over here. Sneaky, sneaky. Four, three, two, one. So the broadcaster was communicating with the multiplayer. I need to talk to somebody about this multiplayer, single player stuff. I might have to hop on a call with Cyber Dragon to figure some of this shiz out. Or Alex. Um, your message from the rules may be different. Oops. Wrong button. Rules. We should just change this to defeat then. Because now defeat isn't getting sent. Okay, I'm following. So if this works. Oh, missed it. Old. Here we go. I have a feeling this is going to be the solution. What a battle this has been. GG's to the chat for figuring this out. Lieutenant General, Blue Tulip. Thanks for the assist. Defeated. Womp, womp, womp. You were defeated. Better luck next time. And then the idea would be that once you're defeated, you'd be able to send your score to the leaderboard eventually. Hopefully that's a thing sooner rather than later. Leaderboards 
are super important to get working in the sandbox, in my opinion. Hopefully that happens. Lieutenant General, sweet, says go west. We got it. All right. And Lieutenant General says, I also read somewhere in the documentation that reducing the timer value reduces the waiting time. Reducing the timer value reduces the wait. Meaning the wait time for that defeat screen. <laughs> hope the leaderboards, I hope the leaderboards work better than Dr. Bumpkiss. I mean, honestly, it's all going to be about how the game's set up and if it can be cheated or not, right? Leaderboard's just receiving the info, recording it. All right, let's recap. <laughs> Since we were all over the place on that one, figuring it out. So what we are trying to do is create a quest that you need to survive as long as you can before a timer runs out. And when the timer runs out, you lose and you can collect assets, collectibles like this medallion. To increase your time. So what we did is set up we set up some rules to start a timer. Um, to find that, we went to the time section of the rules, start timer, and then set up a message to start the timer, which is start timer. We created a, a time variable, which you can do by going to this tab and pushing the plus button or whenever you're in here, if you don't have something or you do have something set up, you can just click on it and then click plus. So we're doing that. And then the timer value is going to be 30 seconds for us. So that's what we set it as. I feel like we could just drop that down a little bit. So when we're testing, it doesn't take so long. <laughs> um, and the message to stop the 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 uh, the timer is stop timer. We're not going to use that, but it's there if we need it, I guess. And the message to send when the timer runs out is defeat. Um, we also have this rule. Let's actually get rid of this because we're not using it. We also have this rule, the add time rule. You can find that over in the rules panel as well. Uh, under time and then add subtract time and then we set up an argument variable so whenever you're setting up a variable or or a message I mean when you're setting up a message if you're typing out you get two options you get add whatever I just typed or add whatever I just typed with argument if you click on with argument then you can go here and add the argument, and then you can decide what kind of argument you want. Do you want it to be true or false, uh, integer, floating number, text, whatever you want, and then add the name for the argument. We did that for variable, add time. Time variable is the same variable as this first rule. And then the value change is message argument, add time. And then, once you get that set up, then to add time, you have to have an asset of some sort that is collectible. And then if you edit the logic to see everything, the collect message, so whenever that asset is collected, we set as the variable add time message. And then you get this box here, which you can determine how much time it adds or subtracts. So time, if you want to add 10 seconds, perfect, put 10. If you want to subtract 5 seconds, you could do negative 5. 
and that would reduce your time. Do either. We're just going to leave it at 10. Perfect. Make sure that it's broadcasting to the rules. We got all that set up. What am I missing? Oh, and then we set up the objective. Actually, hold up. And then we set up this defeat, multiplayer defeat, to um, to accomplish what GoS wanted to accomplish, where when the timer runs out, you are defeated. So whenever the timer runs out, that defeat message is sent, and whenever the defeat message is received by this multiplayer defeat uh, component, then you are defeated, and the defeat screen pops up. And last but not least, once you get all that set up, you're going to want to set up your quest. So our quest is you're going to die. That's what we set up because <laughs> you're going to die. Um, and I guess the goal would have been see if you can la last last as long as you can. That's what this goal should be. Last as long as you can. That's what she said. Last as long as you can. And once you get the quest set up, you can have it auto unlock and then require a message to start. The message that you want to have trigger this to start is the same message that, that starts the timer. So start timer. And then quest type doesn't really matter because this is going to end up in defeat. But if you wanted there to be some sort of victory, you could set it up um, multiple different ways if you wanted to have some sort of victory possibility as well. Um, but then everything is good and set up for this quest that we were trying to set up. That is all good and dandy. One thing that popped in my head is make sure... Fuck, what, did, what just popped in my head? I was looking at that. Make sure... Start timer. Oh, make sure that whenever you are sending this start timer message, make sure you go in the edit logic here and the message to send is start timer and the broadcast type should be all. One of our mistakes is we had it on rules, but we need it to be all so that it also communicates with the objectives. I think that is a good breakdown of what we just did. And you are welcome, GoS. I'm glad we were able to get this figured out. Uh, big shout out to Lieutenant General for being here and walking us through that and being patient with with old crafter. <laughs> still trying to still trying to wrap my head around all the rules and all that fun stuff. So um, but the, all of this has been super helpful for me. Um, and as I continue to grasp this more and more, hopefully I'll be <laughs> more and more uh, fluid with uh uh, teaching you guys how to do these things. But until then, we got awesome peeps in the chat, Lieutenant General, Blue Tulip, all of y'all for chiming in and helping us figure this out. Sanity, bruh. What are you brahing about? Fire stream, let's go. Uh, Bert Z says, seeing it done is far better than reading a manual or watching a specialist who well experienced who goes through quickly in a YouTube video. Ed, where do you get so much energy? Learning together. I, I love this learning together stuff. <laughs> Insanity. I, 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 like in the back of my head, I was like, did he catch my joke? He sure did. That's what she said. All right. Um, all right. That was legit. And we killed an hour and a half figuring that out. Um, GG's to all of us for staying through and seeing that one through. We we definitely figured that out. While we have we have about a half hour more, so um then the next the next like uh, evolution to what we just set up, which I think will be fun to dive into in this last 30 minutes, see if we can figure it out, is how to get this, this asset to spawn randomly around the map. Um, 
So let's see if we can figure that out. Robes says, spent a month and I've gotten nowhere. Now, thanks to everyone's help, it's working. Let's fucking go. LFG's in the chat. Huh? My LFG didn't work. There we go. LFG. You have to think aside. It's more engaging. Yeah, I feel like having to actually like think through these tutorials is is super helpful for. I mean, it, I mean it's super <laughs> super helpful for me because um, I'm getting taught by all of these smart smarties. But um, I feel like it's got to be helpful for y'all that are tuning in as well um, to be thinking through this and 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 trying to trying to problem solve yourself as you're as you're seeing it kind of be problem solved at the same time. Um, obviously, there's 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 a lot of material and videos out there that is just like Bert said, just teaching you exactly how to do something real quick. This is how you do it step by step by step by step. Um, and that's great, but hopefully this, uh, gives you guys another perspective and another, um, way of learning and growing inside of the sandbox. And as always, if you guys have any questions about things that you're trying to do in your games, uh, that you want to try and figure out this is a great place to do it the study hall uh, that's that's kind of what I envisioned the study hall being we started building a game because um, we didn't know what questions we were going to have and then we started running into questions with the game but as sandbox study hall evolves uh, these Thursday streams give us two hours to really dive into any kind of questions that y'all have and then if there are any lulls in in figuring out the different questions that y'all have, then we'll go back to building, building out that, that game that we're working on. Um, but I think it's a good, a good balance of between the two. So, um, always bring your questions. These Thursday streams and Tuesdays, Tuesdays are only an hour right now. So they're a little bit shorter. So, um, diving into complex things like this, we'll probably, we'll probably save until the Tuesday streams. Um, so good thing we, we, actually did that because <laughs> if we would have tried to do this on on the tuesday stream instead of what we did on tuesday uh, i think it would have took us too long because it yeah because this took us an hour and a half to figure out uh but thankfully we got big brains in the chat helping us out blue tulip wait yuma i still see lfg as looking for group but i guess that kind of fits what we're talking about too. <laughs> I mean, we are, we are looking for, I think we found a group. We found a group right here that can help and learn and solve things together. Um, and that, that looking for a group has turned into a let's fucking go. LFG, LFG squared and blue tulips says collectible preset and few logics that spawn around and RNG that triggers random logic spawner. Yes, yes, yes. AOL. <laughs> I grew up on AOL. Crazy to think of where we've come. Been communicating through text screens for a long, long time. Um and I love it. It's allowed us it allows us to connect with people that you would probably have never connected with at all in your entire life. There wasn't this magical internet that we're all addicted to. Um, Otto says, I was in those chat rooms way too young. I feel like I was never in, in like chat rooms that I shouldn't have been in or that I was like too young for. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of like when I was using AOL, I was probably, uh, that was probably around like sixth, seventh grade, maybe that's hard to remember back that far. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> I'm not that old. Um, but yeah, like probably like sixth or seventh grade. But I was literally, I was, I only, I was maybe just a little more basic, but I was just literally just communicating with cute girls in my, in my school and, uh, and some of the homies. So that was all I used it for. <laughs> Find the floppy disks and delete them. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It can mean a lot of things in my head. Um, Fidonet. I don't know what Fidonet is. Enlighten me. Enlighten me, Lieutenant. Um, what did uh, what did Blue Tulip say again, though? Collectible preset and a few logics that spawn around and RNG that triggers random logic spawner. Yes, that is what you said. So um, we're going to turn this this bad boy into a preset. Let's do that. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm starting before I'm talking. So now we're going to figure out how to how to spawn this asset in random locations around the map. So to do that, we are going to turn this collectible into a preset. And the way you do that is you go down to this hierarchy down here. You see it lit up there. If it's not highlighted, it, you don't see it. You can scroll around to find it whenever something's selected on the map. It gets a little highlight like that, a little blackness around it. Uh, but then you can go and hit this the little hamburger menu and go save to preset. And this is going to be uh, Aztec. Aztec collect collectible. Collectible? Is that his? Mm. God damn it. Aztec collectible, collectible or able, able. It's able, collectible. Term. Then you have that collectible. So then we're gonna need a little logic nug. Add a little logic nug to the map. That logic nug, go away, is going to be our asset spawner actually probably could have just used that asset spawner but whatever um and then we're gonna mm, behavior i think yep so then we're gonna be using an asset spawner um should we use multiplayer since the other thing's multiplayer yeah we'll just stick with stick with the same um so we got mult bert I don't know if you're still in the chat. I I don't think I'm gonna be able to scroll back and find it. But you said something about multiplayer and what Alex. There it is. I found it. Do you really need multiplayer? Alex says harder and different to single player. Sometimes multiplayer broken in comparison to single player. No disrespect, loot and blue, uh, or intended. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, I that's still it's still something that's over my head. I'm still trying to figure out when you should be using it. I would like to get that locked in so I can really really give solid advice on that when you should be using solid single player when you should be using multiplayer um but that's not in my wheelhouse yet but i'm going to try and talk to some peeps speaking of talking to some peeps let's make a note about that real quick um where are my notes talk to talk to someone about when single player versus multiplayer. Good. All right. Back to your regularly scheduled program. I feel like one thing, oh, ERA beat me to the punch. If you're building a multiplayer experience, you're going to be using the multiplayer logic more often. But like when you're when you're building something like I feel like sometimes when you're building something that's single player, you still like would use multiplayer, but maybe not. Uh, maybe that maybe that's all it really is. But I could I, I like that sentiment build build in single player first. I don't know why I'm using multiplayer, but that's just what I ended up clicking on. <laughs> ERA. I know that seems obvious, but it's not. I know. That's that's where that's like why and I think maybe part of the confusion too for me um is that 
I'm not really building multiplayer or single player in here. <laughs> I'm just building a bunch of random shit. Um, so maybe if we were just like pigeonholed into single player, it would be easier to just be like, okay, we're always going to grab single player. This is a single player experience. We don't need the multiplayer and that's all we need. But, um, but as Lieutenant General says, some components are multiplayer only. So I guess then if you need that component and you can't find it in single player, then you use the multiplayer, I guess is the idea. So I, I like that rule of thumb until, until we learn otherwise, if you're building a single player experience, use single player logic. If you're building a multiplayer experience, use multiplayer logic. If you're building a single player experience and the logic you want to use is not available as a single player, but it is available as multiplayer, then use that multiplayer logic. That. And then GoS says sometimes you cannot use single player logic in single player because it's broken. <laughs> I know. We have to ask Cyber Dragon to explain in 69 videos. Seriously. I'm gonna that's who exactly who I'm gonna talk to though. So I'll try and come back with a better explanation soon. Roxy, some of my rules, if multiplayer doesn't work, single player should work. If still doesn't work, I need a break. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, single player speaks to quests, multiplayer does not. I'm pretty sure that's right, because multiplayer, so that's the other thing that I kind of understand, kind of, <laughs> is multiplayer is server side and rules our server side single player is local and quests are local i don't know <laughs> that's that's kind of kind of makes sense when i say it so we'll see um what are we doing? We got 15 minutes. Get back on task, crafter. All right. <laughs> um, so we are getting this asset spawner to use a preset. So toggle the true for use a preset. Then pick your preset. It's going to be the Aztec collectible. Oh, so you can like preview where it's actually going to spawn. Nice. Um, only once, not true. Or, whoops, not true, false. Okay, so now we have asset spawners. Well, we have a asset spawner. What we will... What we are going to end up doing... Edit the logic. Is... We're gonna make, let's make three of these. We don't need this on the map anymore because we don't. I mean, I guess we could leave it there just as a, a starter, a starter one. Eh, let's get rid of it. Then, we're, we're, let's just make, let's just make three of these for now. Got three of these again. Then this one is going to be our first one. Edit logic. The message that we're going to receive to make this is going to be spawn. Whoops. Spawn. Uh, Aztec one. Actually, we'll just put the one there. We don't need a dot. Aztec one. And we're gonna do a dot because I have OCD. Spawn Aztec one. 
This is going to be edit logic. Spawn. Oops. Spawn as no as tech two. And then this will be edit logic. Get rid of those. Spawn. Can't type today. As tech three. There's our three different areas that it'll spawn in. And then we need to set up a rule. Good luck on your game jam, ERA. Local equals loco. <laughs> if you use single player behavior or component on a multiplayer game, that behavior or component is going to work like there is just one single player on the map. If you use single player behavior, the component is going to work like one single player on the map. So like if it was a if it's a single player collectible and there's a quest to collect 10 things if you did a single player collectible and five people are on the map and each of them collected two of the things you could complete the quest I think Or does that or does that mean that whenever somebody collects it they get one Oh yeah cuz that would be quest side so they would not be able to complete it if there's only 10. Interesting. Thought of that. Anyways. Um, we got these spawns. Okay, so we got three different spawn points set up now. Now we need to set up the rules. Rules, rules. Two... Do a little RNG. Let's see if let's see if I've learned enough to be able to do this myself. Probably not. Um <laughs> so we're gonna do random number. Oh, you know what we should have done? It's all right. We'll get there. Uh, required message is going to be... What did we do to start? Start timer. Start timer. Minimum value, one. Maximum value, three. It's three different options. We're going to roll a random number. We need a variable. So we're going to we're going to do a new variable. And the variable is going to be variable. And the variable is going to be Aztec. We'll just go variable Aztec. Is zero. Let's show it on the start of the game so we can see it and create Aztec. Beautiful. And then message to send. Now, message to send is going to be check. dot variable dot Aztec. Okay. Then we're going to do another rule where we check if number is in range. No, compare numbers. Compare the number. Check. 
So the message to receive is going to be check variable as tech. And then number variable to compare is going to be variable as tech. And then condition equals one. Then we're going to send spawn Aztec one. And I think we can just duplicate this. I'm pretty sure this is how we did it last time. And then if it's, if it's a uh, number variable to compare with, if it's two, then we're going to send spawn Aztec two and duplicate again. And if it's three, we're going to send spawn Aztec three. I think that should work. Let's test it y'all. So what we're going to do is start timer. Okay. I think that's going to work. And then whenever we collect, now, this is what I thought of. This is what we're going to go back to. Start required message. Start timer. Hmm. That's for the first one. Then let's duplicate this. This will be for the other, the other times. I think this will work. We'll see. We will see. And the message is going to be spawn. Spawn new Aztec. One to three. Variable Aztec, check variable Aztec. Okay. So then, boom. So we got all that. Now, whenever we collect one of these, oh, God damn it. Let's see. We need to. Is there a way to edit a preset? Anyone know that answer? Is there a way to edit a preset? Preset. Aztec collectible. Or do we just have to make a new? We need to resave it over it. Okay. Thank you. Then this is it. What I want this to do is on collection, I want it to send a message. Oh, nuts. It's already sending a message. Hmm. Can we have it? Can you have it send more than one message? Hmm. Let's see. Be a way to do that. I'm not sure. Yeah, go west. This is how you get the preset back onto the map. You just go to presets and then find it, obviously click it, put it out there. And then what we're going to do once we get it, I don't think we can do this. I want it. I want whenever we, so this is what I'm trying to figure out in my head. So you guys can follow along and maybe help. 
I'm trying to figure out when we collect this Aztec coin, it needs to send this message because it's adding 10 seconds to the time. But whenever that happens, I also want to send a message to spawn a new asset or a new coin somewhere. Then basically you're just trying to find these new coins and keep your time going is the little game that we're creating what go west is doing exactly but that's what i'm trying to do um so what go west just to answer you so i drug it back out here now we have this preset fiddling around with it if we if we had made it made any changes what you then could do is go in here again to the hierarchy go to the hamburger menu save to preset and then just click it and then save over it That's what you have to do to update it. So you're almost there. Whenever this message gets sent, variable. We could use that message, right? Variable add time to. Could we use that message? I don't know. Let me see. Variable add time to. Where are we trying to do this? Where are we trying to do this? We're trying to do this in the rules. Uh, roll random number. Message to receive. Variable. Variable. What was it? Variable add time to. Go. Whenever that gets there, it's going to do the same thing. And then spawn somewhere. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. We don't want this one out there. Tab. Hop in. Alright, let's start this death death timer. Woo! Woo! Look at us go! We're so good at this game! Broke it. But we got 43 seconds. But we broke it. You think we collected it too fast? Probably. It, it couldn't keep up. Let's put one... Put one over here. One over here. I don't know. Let's try that. We're going to run over here. Let's start the quest. We got 10 seconds. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're crushing it. There we go not breaking either so yeah i think we just collected it too fast where it, it hadn't reset we got a minute we're doing too good hell yeah we did it we did it kind of figured that one out on my own well i can't say that you guys have helped me figure out how to get <laughs> anywhere near this from the past and blue tulip recommended how to approach it. But I did figure out those rules on my own. I'm pretty impressed with myself there. What do you think, Go West? Did this help you figure out how to set something like this up in your game? I hope it did. <laughs> I wish I wish I could just send my logic to you too. Wouldn't that be nice to just be able to copy and paste logic into I I realized that that would be so beneficial if you could somehow maybe like create like preset logics or like yeah create like a preset logic bundle and just be able to drop it into each of your different games so like once you do it in one map you don't have to go set it up in another map if you're doing the same thing in a different map you could just copy and paste it into that map maybe one day
I could share the experience, but then you, there's the defeat. We die. Nice. But it all works. I could send you this. I mean, I don't care <laughs> if you, if you want me to send you it, I, I definitely can. Um, do I, will I still have access to it too? If I, if I send it to you. Lieutenant General says there are logic presets. I didn't know that. How do you do that? Do you just create the logic as a preset? But you can't... Your presets don't carry over from one map to the other, do they? Yeah, so you just save it as a preset. Oh, predetermined presets. I have seen that. Where did I see that? How do you find that? came across that at one point. Um, if it would be helpful, go ask. Um, I, d I have no problem doing that. Um, you'll, you'll probably have to teach me how to do that. I've never shared an experience. Can't be that hard. Um, logic presets in the rules. Ah, that is where I saw it. Yeah, so there's point race, collect points, shop. That's where I saw it. Dope. So with that, I bet you, I bet you eventually, obviously we're not there yet, but eventually you could probably have custom logic presets that you could have in your in your account. That would that would be sweet. That would be super cool if they could do that. Lieutenant General says you will not be transfer experience without giving away ownership. But if I copy it, if I copy it and then send it, I think we should be fine, right? ADK. All right. Well, that is all we got for today. That was a good stream, y'all. We figured out a lot. Thank you guys for the help. Thank you for being here and chatting and hanging out. Thank you for learning with me. It's been fun. I got to learn how to type with my left foot. Hopefully this, I know this will help go west. Hopefully it'll help others as well. Figure out how to set up something like this in your game. And of course, you can expand on what we set up and tweak and change and do different things, but at least this will point you in the right direction. And then from there, you can tweak to your heart's content. All right. Now, crafter's brain is mush. <laughs> Time to go take a little drag ski, little doink off the doinker. Chill out. Thanks again, y'all, for tuning in. Make sure you catch uh, who's up next. Make sure you catch. I should have looked this up before. I think it's going to be Alex and Lucas. Yeah. Make sure you catch Alex and Lucas on Saturday at, I wish it would tell me it in UTC time. Um, I don't know what, 2 to 4 p.m. Central time converts to to UTC, um, but make sure you catch Amixazi, Alex, and Lucas Saturday, 2 p.m. They be streaming right here. Don't miss it. And as always, where's me? This is my weekly schedule. I do streams. Outside of these as well, if I'm recording podcasts, but these are the main four that I work on. Follow me on Twitter so you don't miss any updates and what's going on with all of this. But Geo Metaverse, my daily show, 1 p.m. Central Time. We're actually doing a lot of building. I'm starting to build avatars inside of Edit again. So if you want to watch me build avatars, tune into the second half. Uh, the first hour we spend diving into crypto gaming news and updates and then 
doing some research. And then after that first hour, we kind of shimmy on over to Vox Edit, and we're going to start continuing to build out this avatar collection that I'm working on. And on Metaverse Mondays, we play viewer games. So if you have games inside of the sandbox, make sure you tune in and let me know that you want me to play your game and we will check it out live on stream. If it's multiplayer, I'll get all of the chat to hop in and play with us. So great time, great way to get people to check out your game and get addicted. And then of course, Tuesdays and Thursdays right here, 7 PM central time, 1 AM UTC Wednesdays and Fridays, 1 AM UTC. We got game maker basics streams. Thanks again, y'all. I will catch y'all on the next stream. Bye. friends you